From the NBC 10 I team, frozen ground, frozen promises. A local cemetery refusing to bury a loved one. This is all happening to a Providence man who says he's just trying to honor his godmother's wishes and get what he's already paid for. He turns to the I team for help. As Parker Gavigan reports, other cemeteries are burying people despite the cold weather. Why is this cemetery different? It takes some warm boots and determination to trudge through the snow. There it is. Glad to see Crumb. Her grave in the Oakland Cemetery sits about 50 yards off of Broad Street. Her name is etched on the stone. Gladys Crumb was 90 when she passed away on February 19th. The problem now going on its second week, Crumb's remains are not here. Everyone I speak to, they can't believe that this is, this is happening. Harry Potter is her godson. And I had contacted the proprietor of the uh, cemetery, Russell Dobbs, to, to say that she has passed away. He's in Florida. He did get back to me, and he said essentially that he feels bad for me, but he's not coming back. He won't be back until the middle of March or maybe April. He essentially said good luck? He said good luck. He, said, he gave me some options. Well, why don't you cremate her? Your godmother, uh, Gladys, she, she did not want to be cremated. Did not, in her wishes, did not want to be cremated. To add insult to injury, Potter has paid $6,000 for the deeds to 16 plots. The cemetery roads are snowed in. The Providence Funeral Home, where his godmother's remains are presently being stored, does not have long-term storage. It's a predicament like no other. No compassion for the dignity of death. And that's what's troubling to me. Hi, Mr. Dodd. My name's Parker Gavigan. I'm a reporter with Channel 10 News. We left a message for the man in Florida. The cemetery's listed president, Russell Dodd, he never returned the call. We found out there is no Rhode Island State Agency that oversees cemeteries. There is, however, a Rhode Island Cemetery Association. Members tell me they receive at least a couple of calls each year having to do with problems at Oakland. One member says he sent Dodd a text message saying this is an embarrassment to the industry. So with no help at all from the owner of this cemetery, Harry's had to figure it all out himself. He's got a grave digger that's willing to dig the grave for his godmother, but the real issue, all this snow. He's got to get it removed. This is where she wants to be. I have a commitment that she will be here, and I'm determined to get this grave open some way or another. A man honoring his godmother's wishes, willing to plow through adversity. He just needs a man with a backhoe, willing to plow through all this snow. A my team reporter, Parker Gavigan, NBC 10 longer. News. If you have a tip for the I team, call it in 455 9123 or send an email, iteam at wjar.com.